Hey guys, um, so my last video was uh, on borderline personality disorder, and I do notice a trend in my video in my channel is that people there are more views for my update videos co as compared to other miscellaneous videos like hauls and fashion and box reviews that kind of thing. So that's why I uh, I think I I should do more on update videos. So basically, uh, this video is going to be about update. Yeah, update. Um, I just had my doctor appointment today, which, um, okay, just to go trap backtrack a little bit, it was um, it was my exam period, and and then this to this is the second week. Uh, last week and this week, I'm supposed to go to. Uh, court for uh, marshalling if you're law student you know what that is uh, it's basically you follow the judge around and then you listen to cases so uh, I would be doing another video on my court stuff which uh, if you're interested you can look at it um, so, but this one will be focusing on my ED issues and stuff uh, so this is really hard. I'm sorry, this, my mind is just kind of blank because I know that my health is not exactly that great. So I tend to like, no, my, my mental health is not that great. So I tend to like go off and then I don't know what I'm talking about, that kind of thing. So it was uh, my last bit. No, it was on anxiety, which has kind of um, wear off after my exam. So that's a good thing. So today's appointment, she cut the in the row, which is uh, off label um, matter for anxiety. So she said I shouldn't take it anymore. Uh, I'm okay with it because I still have some at home in case I need it uh, for panic attacks and stuff. So uh, my anxiety is a bit. It's more or less lower and especially with a lower body weight I just my mind just kind of blends out and numbs off so I don't get anxious that, e that easily and the trade-off is just that you are dumber in the sense that you're like thinking without a brain you just can't think clearly but um, anyway I have no idea what I'm gonna say Oh, today's appointment. Today's appointment. Okay, um, I'm supposed to have my weight, my weighing for like, for each appointment, ever since I, my my doctor started noticing my weight loss. So I have to be weighed every time when I go for an appointment, and basically I see her every week. So that is terrible. The first, that's very terrible. So, uh, the lucky thing was that I, uh. The last time I saw her was two weeks earlier because last week uh, she thought that you no, know, I suggested that it was not good that I take so much so much leave from uh, an attachment that I have with the court. So it's better if I see her this week only. So I saw her today. Um, so, but the problem is that the uh, we have a form, which we take it to the reception. Uh, we have to pay money for the clinic. And then we go up to the reception. The reception will take it uh, to the nurse station, and then you wait for your doctor until uh, she's ready to see you. And then you get called in. And there is a small note, a small, small pointer on the side, like that says that I have to be weighed. And the last time it was forgotten. I have to get out of the room to be weighed before I went in. But this time she said, um, you just, just, uh, just wait just get weighed when after you have seen me before you go so that's what I did uh, the whole conversation went well the next appointment is going to be three weeks away which I'm really really happy about that because I am at a weight which I'm basically cheating every week and I don't know how to make up for weight anymore um, so anyway I went out to have my uh, have my weight and 
And then there was this male nurse who is not used to weighing me. He has not seen my weight before. And then he was like, oh, are you sure she's going to be that weight? And my mom was like, uh, yeah. And, and the other nurse who used to know me in the ward and then now she's transferred to outpatient. She was like, yeah, she's like that. And so then I ran off to my tutor because I'm supposed to go tutor. Um, not only because that I know that my weight that came out of the sheet was not a safe weight. It was her warning weight. Uh, the weight that she warned me, if I reached that weight, I would have to go inpatient. And also because I do have to rush for my tutor. Um, so I ran off and my, when I came back, uh, when I, after I tutor, my mom came back and then she told me that um, after the nurse calls, call, called my doctor, she came out of the room, she, I don't know what, she, she rushed out of the room or she ran out of the room um, to my mom and asked if I'm around because, and she cautioned my mom that if she, if I was around, she would make me go inpatient. That's what she said. So I was glad that I was off and now um, I get off with it for three weeks at least. So I'm safe for three weeks. Um, this is not a good way to be at. I know, I know, I know it for sure. But then I just can't help. I just, I just can't help it. Like I still want to lose more weight and I, I can't regain the weight that I have lost. I, there's no way I'm going to do it. But it's a total, entirely different story when you're impatient. All you want to do is just get out. So you are willing to trade it for that. To trade your weight for the freedom of the outside. But not when you're outside. So during these three weeks, hopefully after this week of court uh, marshalling, I can run uh, in the morning and stuff. So maybe lose one or two more kg. I don't know. That it's not good but anyway I, I can't help it just ED is getting up to me and the deeper you step into it the more trap you get and that's where I got myself into now and I can't get out so I'm not gonna talk about numbers because it's triggering so but anyway it's just not safe when I've been cheating my weight all throughout so anyway this is the end of the video, so subscribe to my channel if you like it, and also follow me on Instagram. See you guys.